Look, if, if Jake said that you should stay here, oh, I really think... He's just being cautious. I have a window of opportunity to see my daughter, and I have to take it. She's only going to be in New York City for a few days. And that, quite frankly, is more important to me than this spitting contest with David. I know, but before David got involved, Jake just recommended that you stay overnight, just for observation. I'm fine. Yeah, but you were doubled over in pain. And now I'm not. Oh, so what are you, a doctor? Are you? No, but I was just listening to one who still has concerns and doesn't want to release what you. What about the one that says I can go, you know? I mean, this is ridiculous. Anna, I don't think you, oh, you I don't should care make this... What you think. <clears throat> or what these various doctors are arguing about. My opinion is what matters here. And I need to go see my daughter and have some kind of completion with her about the past and the loss of her father. Okay? I'm not arguing with you on that, but one night, would it be too careful oh, if I'm you just, just so stayed one night? I'm just so sick of being careful. For God's sake, didn't we talk about this this morning? Yeah, we did. I've traveled the world. I think I can make it to New York City without having a nervous breakdown because I've remembered a few things. Edmund, I think that you should listen to Anna. I am very comfortable with taking risks. Yeah, well, so? Didn't I go to Canada with Dimitri to find you and, and Alex at tremendous risk? Oh, well, this isn't about you. <laughs> it's about me. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I can't continue pretending to be someone I'm not. I just can't do it. It's not fair. To you, to me, it's not fair. Anna, this is about more than you going to New York City to see Robin, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm going to excuse myself so uh, you can talk, okay? Would it mean anything if I say it's not about you? Yes. It's not about you. I know, Anna. I have been out of touch with who I am for so long. But now the whole world just feels new to me. I'm me again. For the first time in a very long time. And, um... And I like this me. Very much. Pretty feisty. Whatever. It's who I want to be again. Anna, I never wanted you to feel like I was just going to plug you into some slot in my life. Like my home, my kids. You never made me feel like that. But you saw the reality of things between us deepened. I love your children. You just don't want to raise them. I'm sorry. Bye. Don't be sorry. No. You don't hate me. Only if you say we can't be friends. Well, I would never say that. I mean, you, you've given me so much. I, I think that you helped me get back to being me. Maybe that's what this was all about. Sure. It's all right. And I still want to be your friend, okay? Good. Listen. So I will call you then from New York and maybe talk to the kids or see how Gabriel is. Sure. Okay. Good. Um, and if you need anything. I know. I know who to call. I'll never forget that. Never. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> but you left. Uh, you, uh, did you? I, I, I didn't mean to be rude earlier. It, it, it. Well, Anna, Anna, my only concern is your well-being. I mean, having you stay here is what, exactly what Alex would have wanted. I'm fine. I just want to get out of here. And I don't want to buck the system or deal with David Hayward again. So well, could you just sign me out? I thought I heard my ears ring. 